you know, everybody realizes that we're being run by a machine, by Wall Street, by Big Farm, by Monsanto, by many big, yeah, boo. Change is difficult. And what this man is asking of us is to be the machine now. I give you Bernie Sanders. Uh, what stood out to you about Senator Sanders and what made you emotional tonight? I, I feel this, it's just a miracle that we've gotten a candidate that can get this far without getting money from Goldman Sachs and the Koch brothers and uh, chumming up with Wall Street. And I don't think it's ever going to happen again if this doesn't, guy doesn't get in because the system is rigged and I don't think it can continue this way. I mean, he had the statistics when you have that percentage getting smaller and smaller that owns more and more and people working so hard. I mean, you can't blame the Mexicans forever, you know. You're gonna have to understand that it's not the immigrants that are creating this problem. This is the time, and I guess that's why I'm emotional, because um, I don't know how it could happen after this. I really don't. And this may be the only man that can come up through the system, through the pipeline, unscathed, unsold, and pure. And we now have the opportunity to make that man our choice for the President of the United States. I'm moved by the people of Iowa who also gave Barack Obama a chance when everybody said he couldn't get elected. And there's so much cynicism about, you know, I talk to so many people who say, well, you know, obviously he's the best guy, but it'll never happen because, I mean, it's just what he wants to do is just impossible. And what he wants to do is not impossible, you know. There are ideas that FDR had that worked, and we've lost our way, and so I'm moved by the possibility. We do not represent Wall Street. We don't represent corporate America. We don't want their money. So we decided to do it in a different way. Bernie Sanders takes the chance to be specific. He has plans, he has specific plans, and everybody gets it, and everyone, instead of appealing to the fear-based and uh, based and the hate-based rhetoric that we're getting from Trump to solve these problems, he's saying, let's take responsibility and we can do it, and let's, you know, bust up Wall Street, and there will be a redistribution of wealth, but it's gone the other way, and now it's time to give our kids an education I'm very moved by it. If we want the best educated workforce in the world, we have to make educational opportunities available, and we do not burden people who get a college or graduate degree with outrageous debt. Some people say, you know, it's a great idea, Bernie, you're Santa Claus, you're giving it all away. Free stuff is what they describe it as. How are you going to pay for that? I will tell you how we pay for it. We're going to pay for it through a tax on Wall Street speculation. Now, when Wall Street went under, they went to the middle class for a bailout. Now it's Wall Street's turn to help the middle class. He has hit a chord with people and they're very emotional. And now it's just a question of getting his platform out there. He's done very well on the debates and people are starting to understand what he stands for. And I think that, you know, it's a lot of young people that are too young to be cynical.